In this video, we will take a look at how to write the program for insertion sort. Let's start by defining the function. It's going to take in an array. For this example, I'm considering it to be an integer array. and going to return the sorted array. Let's say that the number of elements in the array ARR is going to be stored in a variable called n. Now, what should our program do? In the beginning, we will have an array which looks something like this. In the very beginning, our algorithm is going to consider the 0th element as part of a sorted array and all the other elements as part of an unsorted array. One by one, it is going to include elements of the unsorted array into the sorted array in a sorted fashion. So, the element which we want to include in the sorted array, we are calling it key. So in the very beginning, the key is going to be 1. After 4 has been included into the sorted array, our key is going to be 2. Then after the element at the second index is added to the sorted array, our key will be 3 and so on. So the key is going to take values 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. So what is the range of the indexes of this key? It's going to be from 1 all the way till n minus 1. As you can see, there are 5 elements in this array. So n is going to be 5. So the indexes of the key is going to be 1 all the way till 5 minus 1, which is 4. So let us write a loop for that. So the index at which key is going to be considered is going to go from 1 all the way till it's strictly less than n or all the way till it's equal to n minus 1, incrementing by 1 each time. Each time key is considered array of i. As seen in the previous video, key is going to be that element which I wish to insert into the sorted array. So how are we going to insert an element which is part of an unsorted array into the sorted array in a sorted fashion. We do this by shifting all those elements which are part of the sorted array and are greater than our key to an index to the right by one index. So let me take an example. Suppose I have an array which after a few runs looks like this. Now this is going to be part of my sorted array and this is going to be part of my unsorted array. So this is my state of my array after a few runs of insertion sort has taken place. So now my key is going to be the first element of my unsorted array which is going to be index number 3 which is going to be 6. Now I want to add 6 or include 6 into the sorted array. What must I do? I will first check the greatest element in the sorted array, 8. Is 8 greater than 6? Yes. So I will shift 8 to the right by 1. By shifting 8, I mean I am going to keep a copy of 8 in the next index as well. If you remember from our previous video, when we say that key is equal to 6, 
we imply that this space in the array is going to be considered a space which can be compromised or a space to which any other element can be placed. So I am going to shift 8 to the next position or a position to the right. When I am making a copy of 8 in another index, the erstwhile position of 8, since the value is already stored somewhere else, this position can be compromised. Now I check the second largest element in the sorted array. So this is greater than the key which is greater than 7 is greater than 6. So I will move 7 to one index to the right. When I make a copy of 7 to an index 1 to the right, the erstwhile place of 7 can be compromised. Now I will check 4 or the third largest element in the sorted array. Now this is not greater than 6 and so we can stop shifting elements now. In such a case, we can add 6 to wherever the space was created. So once we reach a point where we found an element in the sorted array which is not greater than 6, there we can stop and we can add 6 to wherever we find the space was created. So in the beginning, the space is going to be the index of the key. So let's say I have a variable called space. The space is going to be created wherever we take out the value from the array and place it in the key. So the space is initially going to be at index i. So now we see where are our comparisons being made. First we make a comparison with the element at index 2. Then we make a comparison at the element at index 1 then at the element at index 0. So first we make a comparison at index space minus 1 then space minus 2 and so on. So in the very beginning where is the starting of our comparison? We start our comparisons at an index space minus 1. Where do we end our comparisons? We end our comparisons at an index 0. These are essentially the elements of the sorted array being traversed in reverse order. So let's put a loop for which elements are we going to compare our key against. So we are first going to compare the element which is at the index space minus 1. We are going to keep going until we reach the index 0 and then we will decrement each time. So in this case it is 2, 1 and 0. So now let us make our comparison. If the element which we are comparing which is array of j if this element is going to be greater than our key, what do we want to do? We want to shift this element to one index to the right or we want to copy this in element and paste it at an index just one to the right. So we say array of j plus one is going to equal to array of j. When we do this, we make a copy of our element like this eight is going to have a copy at an index j plus 1 or at an index just 1 to the right. When we do this, what happens to our space index? Our space index is going to equal to the erstwhile location of the element which we were comparing. So we are going to say that space is equal to j, that the space is going to be formed at the index from which we have copied into j plus 1. So now we say space is equal to j. After we do this, we can continue with the next element or we can continue with the second largest element. 
so I am going to explicitly say continue here now what happens when this condition is not satisfied so this means that I have found an element in the sorted array which is going to be less than our key at this point do I want to continue checking no at this point what I want to do is I want to break from the loop that is I want to stop shifting elements to the right so when I reach an element which is going to be less than my key in the sorted array then I don't want to continue shifting elements or traversing the sorted array any further I want to break from the loop because at this point I have found the correct position of the space or the space has come to its correct position so at a point when I find an element in the sorted array as less than the key I want to come out of the loop because I have already placed my space in the correct position so with this I will break from the loop and the for loop ends now I have the correct position of my space what do I need to do what is the last step I need to put 6 into this or put the element or the key into the space I have created so I'm going to say that array of space is going to equal to my key now after we finish this loop the space has come to the correct position now I add my key to the correct index and with this I have finished placing one element into the correct position I do this for all the elements in the unsorted array once my I loop ends I have sorted the entire array and now I can return the sorted array this is how you write a program for insertion sort